there were multiple sports growing up, you know, Gaelic football obviously in Ireland, um, soccer, um, you know, individual sports, a bit of tennis and, and golf, uh, bad golf. Um, so I had a passion for all sports. It didn't really matter. I was I was the guy, you know, when Wimbledon was on with my pals out and uh, on the road, um, knocking the ball against the wall. So I was, that sp sport was always my passion. Um, and only when I got to about 16 or 17 and um, school studies became a little bit more serious and there was a need to focus on one sport that rugby really took over and I felt as though I, I probably it was it was the game that I was best at. I was I was very small as a kid, um, 15, 16 and then I grew you know over probably five inches over summer and I think what grew with that with me in, in stature was my confidence and in my own ability of being able to physically match it with people as is needed in on a rugby pitch. So um, yeah, and you know, Irish schools, Irish under 19s, Irish under 21s, and then into the national team at 20 years of age. Um, and then I just I had the ride of, of, of my life for 15 years. I think early on I was chosen as a captain as a, as a 23 year old having never captained a, a team before in my life, thrown in the deep end. Um, you know, my coach, then coach Eddie O'Sullivan obviously felt as though there was something in me that I, I could um, help bring other people along. Um, I definitely did it through my actions, first of all, but more so than my words. Uh, it wasn't something that came naturally to me. Uh, I think you see some, some natural born leaders and. Uh, being really good orators as well as being very good players. For me, it was definitely trying to be the best trainer on the park, trying to be the best player on the pitch and trying to lead by example that way. And then growing the other side of knowing when to speak and how to speak to teammates, how to speak to referees, um, and how to say the right thing at the right time and keeping a cool head. I think they were definite work-ons throughout the course of my captaincy. I, I took huge satisfaction in being a one club player. Um, of course at times there was some attractive offers out there to go and play, in France in particular. There was a, a, a very important point in my career back in 2006 where I was a bit disillusioned with, you know, the, with the, the club situation in Ireland. Um, I needed to win some silverware or I needed to feel as though I had the chance of winning silverware. Um, and I think Michael Cech and the now Australian coach came in and I think he instilled that in our team and eventually went on and, and won a European Cup and I think winning three European Cups with my home club um, you know, meant so much more than if I had gone away to, to another country and won. It's, it's special knowing that um, you, you know, people you see in the street and the bond that you have with the supporters because you built it from nothing to being your you know, three-time European champions, that's pretty special. You know, there were disappointments in World Cups, never getting to a, better than a World Cup quarter final. Um, but I think if you look back, you, you judge yourself as a um, as a sports person on what you've won, on the success you've had. Uh, and it took a long time to really achieve the first seven or eight years of my professional career. I think I won one medal and then I won seven or eight in, in, the, in the last seven. So uh, I suppose if I were to pick one moment, it would, it would have to be the Grand Slam in 2009. Ireland hadn't won one for 61 years. Uh, and after multiple second uh, place finishes, uh, to finally get to, to win the Slam um, and know that we'd uh, always have that to look back on was it was a special feeling and then thankfully we got in a place where we weren't happy with that and, and pushed on from there. I think one of the things I look at having having exited the game a couple of years ago I feel as though I had a pretty big hand along with a number of other key individuals in changing the expectation of um, the public and and of players that play in the Irish jersey from it. You know, a team back in 2000 when you weren't expected to win a whole lot to um, a team 
you know, nowadays that can go down to South Africa and, and win a test match and almost win a series. It, you know, it, it, it definitely does give you a good feeling knowing that you were a part of, of that progression. Um, I think a huge amount of that is changing the mentality of the younger people coming through in schools and in academies and then knowing that they have to bring that on you know, when they take over the jersey.